Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Conquer Live and Reloaded. I cannot believe I did not even think twice about saying welcome back to whatever LP we were playing. Um, throughout my entire LPs, four or five, seven LPs in a row. Seven LPs in a row. If you count Elmo and Dreamland as LPs. Elmo. Yeah. I did Elmo, Baroski. Well, I guess it'd be, I guess it would be like eight LPs or maybe even nine LPs by the time. This is up, because I have been doing, uh, although, then again, I haven't recorded that LP yet by this time, so, I have not recorded whatever LP we do, th we do, we did last Saturday. I guess we're doing a V-Spiral game, I guess, so. It gets loud from here, guys, so, if you're playing this game, there's a special button right here, your TV you gotta press, it turns down your volume, and this is, this is going to be a helpful... A helpful little moment of the game where you're going to be screaming from all the noise if you don't. Ah! But no, seriously, it, it hurts by how much noise there is. I literally, I hated this game after that point because it was too loud and didn't make any sense anymore. So you can't hear him, so. Turn it up. Well, I can't turn it up because, again... So he knocks you out, and this part is one of the loud parts. Uh, this is the loudest part of the game, though. So after this cutscene, you have the right to turn it up a little bit, but do not turn it up a lot. Oh dear, this is, I think this is making fun of the Halo intro. I think it is. Oh, no, it's not. I was saying he's tied to it, and he's like stuck in a chair with a seatbelt that's like holding him down. That would be making fun of the Halo intro. Okay. Although it seems like an air, like a, like a pelican, like an airplane, it's actually a boat. You know what? I just realized that's the only thing that's not in Halo is any kind of boat. I love his helmet. He has a dead helmet. One of the dead soldiers. Hey, the sad thing is, I don't think he ever gave his clothes back. Like, he's stuck in these clothes for the rest of the game. Like, he'll get his clothes changed again, actually. This is, this is the third costume, or whatever you want to call it, of the game. There's a fourth one. And that'll be the end of the game right there. Yeah, this is, uh... This is loud. This isn't as loud as I remember it being, but oh dear, this part is. This is definitely one of the funner parts of the game if you like shooters and all that shit. I like shooters. They, they are awfully fun, but this is... And he... Goes... Death. Okay. That's a... That's a... That's a I'm surprised they didn't do any story twists with the part where he goes like... I, I can make him deaf in this part or something. What? Oh, well, he doesn't actually go deaf. He just gets a little... Yeah, I'll come back real soon. Okay, that's actually fun now. Oh crap, he has a baseball bat. Oh no. I forgot he only has a baseball bat at this part. He doesn't get a gun until later. I think you have to go up to the first, press the first flare. Hide behind this thing if you, uh, if you want to live. I love how there's bullet marks on the screen. They're reloading, so you run to the next one. And you keep doing this, it's really annoying. I hate this part. This part, I do this twice in the game, and it's really annoying. I think I've done this something like this before in shooters. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm sure you've all been in parts where you don't have a gun when you need one. I guess if you get stuck in there, you're, you're dead. You're dead meat, so. Yeah. It, it is. It is instant death. 
So what do we do about it? We do what any other person would do about it. We hide like pussies. Cause we are. This is this is where you get away with being a baby. So wait till the cutscene plays for this first one. Cutscene helps. You can't actually skip that cutscene because it's too short. Like yeah. you can press LT while it's going, it will not skip it. Is it, is it LT? This is, yeah, it's LT. I don't know if there's an LT and an LD. Um, I don't know if there are bumpers and triggers back on this. I don't know if there's. Go quick, is it? I'm trying. Yeah, this part you have to run quick to do it. You have to know your way, so. The next place we go is that way. I got lost last time, I didn't know where to go. Yeah. There's a blind. This is a blind spot right here. Oh, this is easy from now on. Now it's okay to turn the volume up. Yeah. Okay. This is when the game gets fun, and you probably see all the box art and all that, and you probably know this part vividly. Oh, I hate this gun. It's a little, uh, it's a little delayed. It's a problem. It, 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 for some reason, when you die, it keeps its bullets still firing. Or something. Don't start me back. Yes. No, we're zoom. This is actually the least violent part of the game. There's there's teddy bears. They're just robot teddy bears. Seriously? Yeah, that's all they are. They're robots. I can't tell I hate this part. All of a sudden. This gun does not shoot worth crap. What do you mean? It's it, it's hard to aim this gun, I know. So. Yeah, you can still enter. If you press B to get your gun out, it'll enter this little like first person shooter mode. Oh yeah, they also do sneak attacks. Uh, that's a problem with these guys. They all got like shotguns that only do one damage in you, so I guess it's kind of easy to dodge them. Okay, be careful here. So you can't really hide in the middle of this game, I don't know why. They did a bad job in that part. Shooters are not their forte. Is that it? Yep. Okay, so this part, this is very hard to do. We'll do it next episode, because it is so hard to do. Bye.